spend it, spend it. That should never last. If I end up in the cast, I'ma do it cash. All designer fast. Dying to live life. I know I can go. Can you spend it? What I had. Last night, the two NBA playing games out of four faced off. We got the Atlanta Hawks going against the Miami Heat, both. Trying to get the 7th seed in the Eastern Conference. Then we got the Minnesota Timberwolves facing off against the LA Lakers. Who they're trying to get the 7th seed and face the Memphis Grizzlies in the Western Conference. And obviously the bigger story was the LA Lakers winning in overtime against the Minnesota Timberwolves. Who didn't have Rudy Gobert. Who had AE shooting 3 for 19 from the field. Who didn't have Jaden Daniels. Who had Mike Conley looking like the next Seth Curry out there. Obviously, the Lakers was the biggest story. Them winning in overtime. But I'm not gonna even, I'm not even gonna talk about the Lakers because they shouldn't even, they shouldn't even win the overtime. They had a terrible shooting night. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about what went horribly wrong. With the Miami Heat. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Will. We back and get with another video. Listen, I watched the whole second half of the Hawks versus Miami Heat game. The whole second half. The first half, I was at the gym, you know, getting, getting, getting work in. And listen, there's a lot of issues with this Miami Heat team. A lot of dysfunction. A lot of chemistry issues. A lot of shooting issues, no rebounding whatsoever, and a culture that is just falling off. What I mean by that is the lack of togetherness with this team from last year previously. Not just last year, from previous years. Remember back in 2020 in the bubble? I don't care what y'all say. It's, it, it, they still went to the NBA Finals. They had Jimmy Butler, obviously. Bam, obviously. Basically kind of the same team. A younger Tyler Hero. And they had Jay Crowder, who just any team he gets on, they just win. Right? Until they get to the finals. But that team was together. That team had one of the best defenses in the league. That team had a lot of chemistry. That team had shooting. Fast forward to Last year, the same thing. They had P.J. Tucker, who is another player who just, any team he gets on, they succeed. Bit booty Kyle Lowry. We're going to get to Kyle Lowry in a minute. And the rest of the team. Basically the same team this year, except they lost to P.J. Tucker. It was a big loss. Huge loss. They don't have a brim protector other than Bam. But... The huge difference between last year and this year, one, shooting. Shooting was amazing for them last year. This year, they won the worst shooting teams in the league. And chemistry. This team looks like they don't want to play with each other. As I seen the game last night, the Atlanta Hawks were running back and forth on this team. They couldn't get back. That's another thing with this Miami Heat team. They look slow. This team's not even that old. Other than Jimmy, other than Kyle Lowry, BBL, and other than Udonis Haslam, who had who he's been the most frustrated player on this team all year. He could tell what's been going on. This team is very slow. They're not that old. They have a young team. They have Gabe Benson. They have Matt Struess, who who's just taking up air. He was a mannequin out there. I don't know what he was doing. He was doing absolutely nothing. He was shooting up bricks. Barely even shooting. Tyler Hero was doing okay. Kyle Lowry was carrying. BBL. Yes, BBL. 55-year-old BBL was carrying this whole team last night. Jimmy Butler looked tired. He looked fatigued. He looked like... Let's be honest. He looked like he was not ready for this game. That's unlike Jimmy Butler. And obviously, the rest of the team just didn't look prepared. And you know why? It's Miami. 
It's a lot of distractions. Whole bunch of distractions. It's mine, right? And we're not going to fault Eric Spolster. Eric Spolster is one of the best coaches, if not the best, still the best coach in the game. This team doesn't look like they want to play. They look like it's been a lot of camera, it's a lot, a lot of locker room problems with this team. And Clay Capella was just dominating this team up, rebounding wise. There was nobody crashing the boards. No, I, Bam, I don't know what was Bam doing out there. And Bam had a great year. Tyler Hero had a solid year. Bam, Jimmy had the same same kind of year he usually has. He's Jimmy Butler, right? But the role they have Jimmy Butler playing is a little bit different from what he was doing last year. I think that's what messed Jimmy Butler up. This year, they have Jimmy Butler posting posting up more. Last year, Jimmy Butler was being more facilitator, as he is, still is this year. But he was still leading the troops. He was still getting players more. He was making players better. This year, he's not. This year, they have more posting up more. And they have him scoring less. Now, the last stretch of the season, he was scoring a little bit more, but he wasn't, let's be honest, he wasn't really Jimmy Butler. He wasn't playing his game. I think if they make Jimmy Butler play his game that his he wants to play, they would have been a better team. But the problem with that is the rest of the team just don't look, look like they want to play with each other. And on top of that, the shooting was trash. And I don't know what happened to, uh, what's his name? That the Jim, Jimmy Neutron dude? I don't know what happened to him. Duncan Robinson? He used to be a lights out shooter. Now he's he's a bench warmer. This team has a lot of issues. So this offseason, there's a couple of things y'all need to do. And it's going to be unrealistic, right? But y'all got to try to go all out. All out. And the player y'all need to try to acquire, try, at least try your best. No, no other than Damian Lillard. Mr. Clutch himself. Mr. Dame Dollar. Know what time it is. Yes. Dame, he wants to stay loyal with his team, with Portland. But look how it has been panning out for him in his career. Dame is obviously frustrated. Obviously frustrated. If y'all can, this is what y'all need to do. In order for this to happen, it's not going to happen. I know. But this is, honestly, this is the only option. Other than getting another big, y'all definitely need another backup big. Y'all need another center or another power for somebody. Y'all can't have Clint Capella getting 22 rebounds over y'all. Y'all can't have that. Not just click a pelt. It was a Congo getting a lot of rebounds too. Y'all can't now cannot have that. So, in order for this to happen, try to keep Jimmy and Bam. Everybody else needs to be gone, including draft picks. There's only two options for Dame to go to: the Knicks and the Miami Heat. The Knicks have more. They have more players. They have more options to trade for. They get try to get Dame. But let's be honest. They kind of really don't need Dame. I won't really say that, but they, they are in a good position. They're the fifth seed in the East. They're going to face the Cleveland Cavaliers. They have a great ch chance to beat the Cleveland Cavaliers. Jalen Brunson has been hooping for this team. It's been a great trade. Miami, y'all need to do something. Y'all need to go all out and try to get Dame. Jalen Brown, you really think Jalen Brown's going to want to come to the Miami Heat? Let's be honest now. Anything's possible, but I just don't see that happening. This offseason, y'all got to try to get Damian Lillard. There's, I don't see any other option other than try to, let's be honest, maybe, maybe see what the options y'all have for Jimmy Butler. It's looking like y'all need to blow this team up. This team doesn't want to play with each other. I've seen it almost all year. Eric Spolster is not the problem. It's these players that don't want to be with each other. Last year, they was all in. You can tell. They almost got to the finals, but they they faced the Boston Celtics. This year, they just like whatever. They they don't know. They don't know. They forgot how to shoot the ball. D 
Defensively, they're still there, but they forgot to rebound. And you got Big Booty. You got BBL dropping 33 points. That lets you know this team is not for real. I, I, and I'm saying go plan ahead because I'm, I don't care. Who y'all face in this next play-in game? I don't even think y'all going to win. Y'all have a better chance against the Chicago Bulls. But if y'all face the Toronto Raptors, it's raps. It's raps. And even then, if y'all beat either one of these teams, y'all going to get gentlemen swept by Giannis and Milwaukee Bucks. So, Miami, y'all have a lot of issues. Yeah, y'all need to resolve. And these issues, y'all got to really deep dig deep in this offseason and see what y'all want to do, y'all. That's all I got today for this video. Y'all enjoy. Give your boy a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Click that bell to get notified of every video I'll be dropping for throughout the whole playoffs. Because I'm going to be dropping nothing but bangers. Nothing to be me talking about every game that's been happening in these playoffs. And I appreciate all y'all for support. It's been your boy Will, and I'm out.